Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me or left me a message. They were having trouble with one of my Greek patterns around the circle. And I'm, I contacted them to email me their pattern. But I thought I'd just kind of show you how you could do it with a square. And it would be kind of the same thing. So I've got a two and a quarter inch square by two and a quarter inch. I've got a 16.43 circle. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to select both of them and hit T as in top. Now my box is 2.25, so I'm going to change my nudge factor to 2.25. And I'm going to click on it, I'm going to put it to the very top, and that puts it perfectly in line with the very top. Now take your rectangle or square, go to arrange and convert it to a curve. Take your shape tool and carefully move it straight down on both sides. Now this is a select both these and then turn them into a curve and then get about as close as you can to the middle and just bring it up where it's equal to that shape. Now we're going to control D and make a duplicate. We're going to double click on it and we're going to move the rotation to the center. And this is a little difficult because I couldn't see it. A lot of times I will use, it ought to be right in here. Let's do this. Let's bring in an indexing line and hit P and an indexing line and hit P. And now a rotation will be right there in the center. A lot of times Corel does that, but it is in the center. Now we're going to rotate it 15 degrees. You need something divisible by 360. We're going to control D again. We're going to move it 30 degrees. Then just keep hitting control D all the way around. And because 15 degrees were equal all the way around, I'm going to click my circle and I'm going to hit delete. And you could leave it like that or you could weld it. And now you have that. And you could even go up to a range, break curve apart, and remove the center circle. That would just be your preference. But that's how you would do that with something that's square and you want to turn it into a circle shape. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.